Hi, in this segment of True Owner Maintenance video series, we're going to cover some of the features on the slide door glass door merchandisers. A few things here I want to cover with you. One, we're going to show you a neat little stay open feature to help you load the unit out. Two, we're going to show you how to remove the doors. And three, we're going to show you how to clean the groove tracks on this unit. Right now, what I want to do is show you the unique stay hold open feature on these glass doors. Just take your glass door slide it back and on the inside you'll see a little notch here flip that little handle up let the door come and what happens is there's a weight on the back side here that that little latch holds open this way you don't have to fight with the door to load the cabinet right now what we're going to cover is how to take the doors off the unit remember that little stay hold open feature that I showed you a little earlier You can see when the tension's off of that, it'll kind of uh, hang down there for you. So you're going to do both right and left side. When these loops are hanging down, the tension's off the door. And you can go ahead and pick that door up. Now make sure you put it down on a piece of foam or wood. Do not set the door directly down on the floor because you'll bend the rollers that go in the groove track. Up top here is a little keyhole that the string goes into. Now that we have that out, we can take our door, flip it up, and put it off to the side. Over a period of time, what will happen is you'll get sediment and debris down on the groove tracks on your glass door. Easy way to do that is to get some warm water, a little bit of hand soap, and a nice firm nylon brush. What you want to do is you want to take that and sweep all that debris out of that cabinet. Now there'll still be a little bit of moisture in there, so you want to make sure that you get a towel or something and get that moisture out of there. You may even have to use a hair dryer or something to make sure that that cabinet's completely dry before you go ahead and put the doors back in. Now that we have the tracks clean, we're going to go ahead and install the doors back into the cabinet. Now your inside door will have a little groove on it. That's a gasket. That's the wiper gasket here. That's your first door to go on. And again, make sure that you never set it down on the surface because what will happen is you'll take these rollers and get them out of square so the door won't close properly. That little keyhole on the top here is where the string goes. Once you get the door into track, push it all the way over, and automatically that latch will drop it down. So now the counterweight is working for the door. Let's go ahead and put the other door on. That simple. It takes you about five minutes to go ahead and take those doors off and clean it. Remember, never use an oil-based lubricant if you want to put something on those tracks. Please make sure that you use a silicon-based lubricant. Not only will it stop from gumming the track up, but it will give you years of life to the cabinet.